In today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to add standard blog posts. This is a feature that you will be using quite often on your website if you are interested in getting higher rankings in SEO and keeping your users returning to your website. Once we have entered the add blog post page, you will see that you can enter a blog title and then you've got your description area, which is where you would add the details of your blog, including any images, etc. So going down the right side, we have got post visibility, it's best to leave this as visible by all users. Then we've got the creation date, which you can change if you'd like, to either post or predate the creation date. The same goes for the publish date, you can also pre or post date the publish date. You can also set the date that you want to unpublish your posts at a certain time, or date if you wish to only have this blog post for a certain amount of time on your website. Below that is the select category area. You can select any of the categories that you have listed, or even select multiple categories here. Next, we have our tag area. If you click on the tags icon at the bottom, you'll see that all your current tags have been listed. This is an easy way for you to add your tags to your blog post. You can select up to 10 tags for each post. You can also add a new tag here and click enter once you have finished typing your new tag and it will automatically be added to your saved tags for future use. Finally, at the bottom of the screen, we have the author. Usually, you will leave this as your details unless you want to move the blog to a different person if you have multiple people administrating or posting on your blog. Once you finished adding and editing, you click on publish post at the top and to publish the post immediately, select publish now and your blog post will be published to your website immediately or on the date that you specified if you did change the publish and create a date. You can also save the post to drafts if you want to perhaps continue editing the post at a later stage. Once you have published your post, you can click on the back arrow on the top left of your page. It's very easy to manage blog posts from this page and we hope that you will enjoy using this page in the future. Thank you for following this tutorial.